Crossplane and flat plane represent different crankshaft designs for multi-cylinder vehicles, ranging from four to eight cylinders. While they may seem similar at first glance, the two systems actually have distinct shapes, leading to different energy transfer processes and giving each engine its unique characteristics. Let's take a closer look and start by discussing the flat plane crankshaft in detail. The flat plane crankshaft, with its 180 degree rod journal spacing, forms a flat plane when viewed along its central axis, hence the name. However, due to this 180-degree crank pin arrangement, engines with this crankshaft system experience vibrations caused by both primary and secondary forces. The primary force occurs as the engine operates and pistons move up and down, creating opposing residual energy. The secondary force, related to the crank pin's own weight, revolves around the central axis, necessitating the use of counterweights or balance weights to mitigate these forces. Next, the crossplane. In the crossplane configuration, the crank pins are spaced 90 degrees apart, forming an X shape when viewed along the axis, earning it the nickname crossplane. This cross-sectional arrangement helps minimize the secondary forces compared to the flat plane model. However, the uneven pin positions at both ends require external balance weights to enhance durability and reduce shaft stress. Alternatively, reinforcing the shaft and bearings can also address this issue. In terms of engine design, the two crankshafts are fundamentally similar, used in both four-cylinder inline and V8 configurations. The key distinction for eight-cylinder engines is the broader crank pins designed to accommodate two connecting rods simultaneously. This difference in crank pin positioning means each engine type will generate a unique firing order, contributing to their distinct characteristics. For four-cylinder inline engines with a flat plane configuration, there are two firing order options depending on the factory design. Each firing order has a 180-degree interval. For those curious about the sound, here's an approximation of what it might be like. In contrast, the four-cylinder crossplane configuration, like that of the Yamaha R1, features an irregular firing order, demonstrated in the diagram, with unique intervals of 270 degree, followed by 180 degree, then 90 degree, and another 180 degree. The sound produced by this configuration is distinct and can be approximated as follows. This difference gives cross-plane and flat-plane their unique sound characteristics, which also applies to their eight-cylinder engines. These sound traits result from varying exhaust gas pressures. For example, the 180-degree interval in flat-plane engines allows for more uniform scavenging, leading to higher peak RPMs. Conversely, the unique irregular intervals in cross-plane engines 270 degree, 180 degree, 90 degree, and 180 degree result in lower peak RPMs, but produce an engine with smoother power delivery and vibrations. This makes riders of Yamaha motorcycles, which utilize this concept, unconsciously twist the throttle deeper during maneuvers, giving them an advantage on twisty tracks. Now, what about the firing order of V8 engines in cross-plane and flat-plane configurations? 
The flatplane V8 engine has a variety of firing orders, and we'll present an example of the sound from the most commonly used firing order. Alright, that sums up the sound characteristics of the flat plane engine. On the other hand, the V8 cross plane engine has a distinct firing order that results in its own unique sound characteristics. Here are some variations of its firing orders. The simulation of the firing order is roughly as follows. What do you think? Which one has a more even engine sound? And for the conclusions part, the flat plane excels in peak RPM due to more regular scavenging processes. On the other hand, the cross plane engine boasts better torque and smoother engine vibrations, making it more comfortable for maneuvering. Additionally, both cross plane and flat plane can serve as unique signatures for cars. For instance, flat plane is commonly associated with European cars, while cross plane is more characteristic of American muscle cars. That's all the information we can provide in this video. If you find any inaccuracies, feel free to correct us in the comments section below. Which engine configuration do you prefer? Share your thoughts in the comments.